Good evening. Or good morning. Good noon. Or good midnight. Whenever and wherever you're watching this. Welcome to the Sunday Poem. Today, it's a poem by a very well-known and highly prolific, best-selling novelist, short story writer, poet, and playwright of the 19th century, whom you probably never heard of. This writer was born in 1836 in the state of New York, and as a humorist and satirist who commented on U.S. politics and society, this writer's work was even frequently compared to that of Mark Twain and Edgar Nye, and she is often referred to as one of America's most significant early female humorists and novelists. Yet, chances are that you never heard of her. Not only is she virtually unknown today, but her name was already largely forgotten by the time of her death in 1926, and that, even though her work appealed to all classes of society and she managed to have her books translated into many languages and to gather an audience all over the world, including men and women of every social standing. I am talking about Marietta Holly. Is today's poem one of her satirical texts? I rather interpret it as a contemplative melancholic look back at looking back. Let me know in the comments how you interpret The Land of Long Ago by Marietta Holly. Now, while the crimson light fades in the west, and twilight drops her purple shadows low. We stand with memory on the mountain's crest that overlooks the land of long ago. Unmoved and still the form beside us stands while mournful tears our heavy eyes o'erflow as silently he lifts his shadowy hands and points us to the land of long ago. It lies in beauty neath our sad eyes' range, bathed in a richer light of warmer glow, for fairer moons and sunsets rare and strange illume the landscape of the long ago. We see its Veils of peace, its hills of light, shine in the rosy air. Ah, well we know that never more will bless our yearning sight, so fair and dear, a land as long ago. We see the gleaming spires of those high halls we garnish with bright gems and precious show. No foot within the gilded doorway falls. Empty the rooms within the long ago. Troops of white doves still haunt the shining towers and fold in blissful calm their wings of snow. We bade them build their nests in brighter bowers, but still they linger in the long ago. There, in its sunny bay, stand stately ships we freighted for fair lands where we would go. Still gleams our gold within their secret crypt, Calmed beside the shore 
of long ago. Between that land and this of dread and doubt, the silent years have drifted trackless snow, hiding the pathway where we wandered out forever from the land of long ago.